Prime Minister called upon the local public representatives to earn the trust and the confidence of the people. More than 400 shops were burnt to ashes in the fire of the Krishi market in Mohammedpur of the capital. And the government has fixed the prices of eggs, potatoes and onions at the retail level. I'm Fozia Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called upon the local public representatives to earn the trust and confidence of the people by providing services. She also urged the people to trust Avamalik to move the country forward. Sheikh Hasina said this while addressing a function organized on the occasion of a National Local Government Day 2023 at Gono in the capital today. Addressing the public representatives, the Prime Minister said, You are the people's servants, elected by popular vote. Therefore, by serving them, you will gain the trust of people and move forward. At the time, she said that the Awamli government took the country forward when it came to power in 1996, but BNP pushed it back when it came to power in 2001. She urged the people to remember that the country should not go backward again. More than 400 shops were burnt to ashes in the fire of the Krishi market in Mohammedpur of the capital. There were about 700 small and big shops in the raw market and the new raw market. The traders said that the fire started in the hawk bakery of the market. Later, due to the wind, the fire spread to other shops one by one. The fire service received information about the fire in Mohammedpur Krishi market at 3.43 a.m. Although one unit rushed to the spot first, its members could not enter the market because it was closed, due to which the fire spread rapidly. 18 gold shops were gutted in the fire incident. Apart from this, plastic goods, crockery and bag shops were also damaged. Six hours after the fire broke out, the fire at the Krishi market was brought under control at 9.25 a.m. The government has fixed the prices of eggs, potatoes and onions at the retail level. Commerce Minister Tipu Munchi on Thursday told journalists after a meeting held at the Commerce Ministry in the capital. The minister said the price of eggs has been fixed at a tax of 12 per piece at the retail level. The government has also decided to allow import of eggs if the price in the local market does not come down. The retail price of potatoes has fixed at 35 to taka 36 per kg and the price of onions at taka 64 to taka 65 per kg, said Tipu Munchi. The minister said that the price of a soybean well will be reduced by taka 5 per kg. He also said that the prices of many items have increased in the market without any reason. This includes important products like potatoes, onions and eggs. Two officials of the Odhikar were jailed for two years in a case filed under ICT Act for publishing a distorted report on Hefazat's rally in Shapla Chotur in 2013. The court also fined them Taka 10,000 each. The two convicts are Odhikar Secretary Adilu Rahman Khan Shubro and Director ASM Nasiruddin Elan. Dhaka Cyber Tribunal Judge A.M. Zulfikar Hayat handed down the verdict at about 2.45 p.m. in presence of the convicts. It was the first IT Act case. Earlier on August 24, after presenting the arguments of the state and the accused, Judge A.M. Zulfikar Hayat of Dhaka Cyber Tribunal fixed the date of announcing the verdict. In 2013, Odhikar published a report on its website that claimed 61 people were killed at Hefazat Islam rally in Shapla Chotur. DB police filed the case against the two Odhikar officials on charge of publishing the distorted report. 
Renowned filmmaker Sohan Rahman Sohan was laid to eternal rest in Tangail on Thursday. He was buried beside his wife's grave at Tangail Central Graveyard after a namaz zanaza held at Old Mass Stand Jame Mosque in the district at 9 a.m. Sohan died in a hospital in Dhaka on Wednesday afternoon, a day after his wife's death. His wife passed away in a private hospital in the capital on Tuesday. Sohan made his directorial debut with the film Bishash Obishash in 1988 and got huge success with the movie Kiamot Teke Kiamot in 1993. He was best known in Tallywood for directing romantic films. Maritime ports of Chottogram, Cox's Bazaar, Mongla and Paira have been advised to first local cautionary signal number three as a low pressure over northwest bay and adjoining areas moved towards North Orisha, West Bengal coasts and is now presiding presenting over northwest bay after being intensified. According to Bangladesh Meteorological Department, there is a possibility of a squally weather affecting the maritime ports, North Bay and the adjoining coastal areas of Bangladesh. In light of the weather conditions, the maritime ports have been advised to first local cautionary signal number three. This signal serves as a warning to vessels and individuals operating in the area to exercise a caution and be prepared for potentially adverse weather conditions. Additionally, a notice has been issued to all fishing boats and trawlers operating in the North Bay region. They are advised to remain close to the coast and proceed with a caution until further notice. Viewers and now international news. The Taliban welcomed China's new ambassador to Afghanistan, with Foreign Minister Amir Khan Mutaki saying the nomination of Zhao Sheng was a significant step with a significant the message. It is the first time since the Taliban takeover in 2021 that an ambassador to Kabul has been afforded such a lavish protocol, with the Afghan officials saying the new envoy's arrival in a sign for other nations to come forward and establish relations with the Taliban. Taliban-led government. The Taliban have not been officially recognized by any foreign government and Beijing did not indicate whether Wednesday's appointment signaled any wider steps towards a formal recognition of the Taliban. Residents of the devastated Libyan city of Adana desperately searched for missing relatives as a rescue workers appalled for more body bags. After a catastrophic flood that killed thousands of people and swept many out to sea, Swathas of the Mediterranean city were alberated by a torrent of water unleashed by a powerful storm that swept down an unusually dry riverbed on Sunday night, bursting dams above the city. Multi-story buildings collapsed with sleeping families inside. A spokesperson of the Interior Ministry, Lieutenant Tariq al Karaz, on Wednesday told that 3,840 deaths had been recorded in the Mediterranean city so far, including 3,190 who have already been buried. Among them were at least 400 foreigners, mostly from Sudan and Egypt. Dana Mayor Abdul Menam Al Ghaiti told the Saudi owned Al Arabia television the estimated number of deaths in the city could reach between 18,000 to 20,000. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Prime Minister called upon the local public representatives to earn the trust and the confidence of the people. More than 400 shops were burnt to ashes in the fire of the Krishi market in Mohammedpur of the capital. The government has fixed the prices of eggs, potatoes and onions at the retail level.
That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.